Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're talking about this thing. This is, well, this is my six inch high tech diamond trim saw. Uh, I've had it now for five months. I feel like I've for been able to formulate a good opinion on it, kind of uh, have an idea as to what I like, what I don't like, and uh, kind of how it stacks up against some other competitive options out there on the market. So uh, we're going to be diving into this one. So if you're thinking about buying this, I suggest you watch this video uh, down below on the little uh, scroll bar for the video. There are chapters you can skip around if you so choose, um, but I suggest you watch the whole thing if uh, well, before you go drop the money on this. So first up, what I'm going to be comparing the saw to is other lapidary trim saws and not going to be uh, I'm not going to be comparing this to tile saws or oil auto feed slab saws, but the category is lapidary trim saw, uh, you know, six inch. Six inch trim saw is pretty standard, middle of the ground. There's some fours, fives, and uh, 10 inch trim saws out there, but we're talking about this. So let's talk about the thing that's always going to come up, and that is price. Um, it is competitive in my opinion. Now, what am I looking at? We're looking at what is available on the market right now that you can just go and buy. We have the, the six inch Rock Rascal. Now the Rock Rascal comes in, this is the best price that I could find on these as far as January 2021. I almost said 2020. January 2021, uh, prices with uh, shipping included if there's a shipping fee on it. So the Rock Rascal coming in at $360, okay? Um, now, bear in mind, there's going to be a lot of factors that we're going to jump into here. So uh, we're only looking at price right now. $360 for the Rock Rascal. This saw right here comes in at $459 with uh, free shipping. The Covington 6-inch saw comes in at... $533 with uh, shipping, that's shipping included. So it's like $499, $34 shipping, $533. Highland Park, uh, their saw is $595. And I wasn't able to uh, look up the cost of the shipping on it since it's uh, out of stock right now. Um, all of those saws, I believe, have quarter horsepower motors. This has a quarter horsepower motor and... Uh, there's, there's that. That's how it stacks up. Um, now, the Rock Rascal being the, the lower end of the three, this one, or of the four, this uh, high-tech being really, to put it fair, it's in a class above the Rock Rascal. Uh, so really, high-tech Covington and uh, Highland Park being the three kind of big competitors out there. Uh, I'm leaving Lortone off of the list because Lortone saws are not consistently purchasable, okay? So um, there's that. Now, I know for some people right now, the sticker price is hitting you, and you're like, no, I'm sticking with my tile saw, or you're going to buy a used saw from, like, Facebook. Used equipment is like a used car. It can be really good, and it can be really bad. That's something to take into account. Um, I think... Uh, this has a lot of great things to offer, but we're going to just we're going to start with the downsides. <laughs> start on the low note. How about that? Downsides, the way you get the water out of this. OK, so uh, the way you get the water out of this thing is you got to flip that, pull your your tray off here. And this is the, the water tub that you're going to fill for your saw. Um, you can see that there's no drain plug. So th this is what it looks like to empty the water out of this saw, and it's not ideal. It's just, it's, it's not. Uh, it's a mess, and it could be a problem for some people if uh, you got to be carrying your saw out of the workspace to be doing it. So it's something to factor in. Um, the speed control sticker. Okay, now this is a little bit of a pet peeve. It's a little, I'm just kind of like, we're going over everything, right? So we have here some of the saw blades that you can buy from high tech, right? This one 
has an RPM of 2,650. This one has an RPM of 3,250. Well, this uh, gauge here goes from uh, 0 to 6. Wh wh where is that? In their manual, they tell you the RPM that's associated with that, okay? Why wouldn't you just put that on there? I get it, the sticker is like probably an off-the-shelf thing, but it's a little a little annoying. I mean, you'd think for, for that amount of money, they, they can they can remedy that that problem, you know? Um, they also say that you can run this with mineral oil, lapidary, rock cutting oil, low viscosity mineral oil. Um, bad idea. That would be that is a bad idea. Now, this is a very clean saw, right? You're not going to be rooster tailing water out of here. Um, we've shown it countless times here on the channel. This is a great saw for cutting in an enclosed space. You know, um, it's pretty, pretty dang clean. That said, you will get a little mist coming out of this, right? That's just the nature of a blade spinning in, well, in that case, it'd be a little bath of oil and it's not good. You're going to be making a big freaking mess with that. This is, should only be looked at as a water saw. They shouldn't, shouldn't say that. Um, since we're talking about downsides of the saw, it's plastic. Okay. Now I'm counting that into the downside, but it's also an upside in many ways. So the downside is, um, it being plastic. If something was to critically happen to it, you can't fix it versus something that's metal, aluminum, whatever. That's a more end user repairable item. There we go. I think that that about wraps it up for all of the downsides. Now I've cut so many, so many freaking rocks on this. It's incredible. Um, I would, I've absolutely lost count at this point. So, um, let's talk about some of the pros. So I know it's kind of hard to see because I got this vice here. Uh, it doesn't come with the vice. The vice is an extra thing. But high tech is the only saw that has a table that is proud of your everything else around it. Why would that matter? Now, your Rock Rascal, Covington, and Highland Park, they all have this little tray, right? And the little tray is designed to catch the water from your cuts and, you know, re recycles. Um, the reason I didn't want that is, let's say you have a big slab, a bigger slab just like this, right? You see how I could come over here and just trim this edge off and it can just infinitely hang out here in space. If you were doing, let's say a clock uh, or something else really big, it's gonna interact with that tray lip. So that's something you want to you want to think about. What is the actual size of the slabs that you're going to be working with? If you're going to be doing big slabs, really high tech's the only game in town for that because it's not going to fit in the other trim saws. That said, there's always the option, of course, of uh, cutting, trimming your slabs in your big slab saw. So that's always an option, but. Realistically, I want to be able to do it over here in a nice, slow, controlled fashion and not just set it in the auto feed and walk away. A big upside for the high tech is on their website, you can buy parts. You can order repair work to be done on it. Now, that said, um, it's a pretty, I mean, that's a super simple saw. Like, I'm going to show you right here the thing mostly disassembled. The, the guts of it are totally user serviceable if you're a slightly knowledgeable and handy person. But if you're not, you can always mail this thing back to them and they, they will put in, they can give you a new motor, do all of those things. You know, motors do not last forever. Um, even the, I've had Wil, uh, what, Wilton motors, I've had uh, Dayton motors burn out on me in the past. So all uh, AC or DC motors can can kick the bucket. Um, so it's nice to have a company that has that kind of backup on something. Uh, I haven't ran the other saws, but um, have, I've ran other pieces of equipment, other motors and things like that. This is pretty quiet. Now, um, you may not want to run this in your uh, vintage studio apartment with no insulation, but 
You could certainly run this in a garage, uh, in a workshop, or in a basement and not really bother people very much. It's a pretty quiet saw, you know? Um, oh, once again, in the comparison video, doing a trim saw, slab saw, and a tile saw, um, I uh, compared the, the volume of these things, uh, the noise. So there'll be a link up there and uh, down in the description box. Go check that out for sure. Let's talk about the cleanliness of this. It's a pretty easy thing to clean up. And uh, it doesn't really make that big watery mess, which is super nice. I like this tray design. Get this thing out of the way here. I like this tray design. Uh, you can see uh, it's got holes. The holes are actually for the accessory fence, which I don't have. And then these little slots, the water will run into these slots and back down into the reservoir. So as far as cleaning it up, I just, you know dry it out. I don't ever put this thing away wet. That's never, never a good, a good idea. Let's talk about the availability. The Rock Rascal, the Covington, and the Highland Park, and the Lortones are not 100% mass available. That's just the way that goes. Um, I don't know why they aren't putting it together, um, but that's the way it is for those. These are always available, and these are made in America. I mean, it's a made in America product. Turn this around, I'll show you. See that? We're made in America, okay? That's awesome. I, uh, I prefer supporting domestic manufacturing. It makes sense to keep things here, keep jobs here. And uh, I think all the other guys are made overseas. So, um, you know, if that's an important factor to you, it is for me, uh, go, go with the high tech. So the availability, uh, these are available from the high-tech site and on Amazon. I think 100% of the time, they're never out of stock. So um, definitely uh, put your money towards high-tech and not Amazon. But if for whatever reason you want to go through Amazon, uh, yeah, it's there. I'll put links to them as well. The weight. Now, I, I wasn't able to exactly look up all of the weights on the saws because... They often will just put their shipping weight, but this is a lightweight saw. Um, the other one's being made out of uh, sheet metal that's painted, um, cast cast aluminum parts, things like that, significantly heavier saws. And does that matter to you? Is it going to be something moved around often? Maybe, maybe not. Um, just for what it's worth, this is a, a lighter weight saw because of this uh, thick plastic housing. And, you know kind of talking a little bit more about the plastic being a pro it is lightweight yet it's also really heavy duty plastic um i mean it's like thick thick plastic i'll throw some photos in so uh that is my review of the high-tech saw oh um real quick we also have accessories for this like this uh this vice you can get a fence for it if that's important to you um i i really enjoy the vice on it it makes uh makes cutting enjoyable so um that's gonna probably call this a wrap so this is uh my conclusion my review of the six inch high tech saw i'm sure if you decided to go bigger and get their 10 inch you would also be really really stoked with it and uh yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. Um, it does have, um, they do have an incredible number of different saw blades on their site um, for this. And uh, I will certainly be uh, doing some more testing and reviews of the different saw blades. Uh, it has, a, I believe, a 5 8 arbor on it. So uh, lots of different options out there. Um, if you found this to be useful content, throw a subscribe up. If you're not already subscribed, throw a thumbs up. I appreciate it very much, and uh, happy, uh, happy lapidary work, everybody.